Does your bank enjoy roulette more than you do? Is Manis cool with gambling? Ever had a friend mysteriously decline your offer to split a lottery ticket, claiming their bank doesn't allow gambling? Seems strange, right? After all, shouldn't your bank be focused on your financial well-being, not your weekend hobbies? Well, it turns out some banks actually do have restrictions on gambling transactions. So, what about Manis? Can you use your snazzy Manis card to hit the jackpot, or are you stuck with boring old budgeting? Let's dive in. The allure and risk of online gambling. Let's be honest, online gambling can be a rush. The convenience, the variety of games, the potential for a life-changing win, it's all very tempting. But before we get carried away picturing ourselves on a beach sipping margaritas, funded entirely by online poker, we need to acknowledge the risks. Problem gambling is a real issue, and responsible financial management is key. That's where your bank, ideally, comes in. By offering tools and information about responsible gambling, or even restricting transactions altogether in some cases, banks can help us avoid financial pitfalls. So, where does Manis stand on this tightrope walk between fun and financial responsibility? Manis says no dice to gambling transactions. Straight to the point, Manis prohibits using your account or card for any gambling activities. This includes online casinos, sports betting, lottery tickets, the whole gamut. It might seem like a buzzkill, but there's a method to their madness. Why does Manise block gambling transactions? There are a few reasons Manise might have taken this stance. First and foremost, they likely want to avoid any association with potentially risky financial behavior. Gambling can lead to debt and financial hardship, and Manise might not want to be seen as facilitating that. Second, there's the issue of fraud prevention. Unfortunately, the online gambling world can be a haven for scammers. By restricting gambling transactions, Manis might be trying to protect their users from falling victim to fraudulent activity. Finally, there are regulatory considerations. Financial regulations can vary depending on the region, and Manis might be taking a cautious approach to avoid any compliance issues. Alternatives for the aspiring high roller. So, what are your options if you're a Manis user with a hankering for a flutter? Well, there are a few things to keep in mind. Check local regulations. Gambling laws differ from country to country. Make sure you're aware of the legal landscape before trying anything. Consider alternatives. There are plenty of ways to have fun and potentially win some cash that don't involve gambling. Think raffles, contests, or even skill-based games. Use a different account. If gambling is a regular part of your life, you might consider opening a separate bank account specifically for those activities. Just be sure to manage both accounts responsibly. The bottom line, responsible gambling is key. Whether you use Manise or another bank, responsible gambling is crucial. Set limits. Track your spending, and never gamble with money you can't afford to lose. Remember, the thrill of the win shouldn't overshadow the potential for financial woes. With that said, thanks for watching and until next time.